Alright, this is gonna be a five star case guide for the golden butterfly. Overlook Sunset Boulevard. Let's go. Can you drive to this one? Alright. And I thought this was such a nice area. Detective, I was first on scene. Cool story. We're gonna walk up here, find a naked dead body. Yeah, naked dead body, great. Means more sensors. Can't be much help to you, Phelps. Ooh, she's got a hairy bush. It's disgusting. Get her first clue, or the rope Very pattern. Distinctive. I'll do some comparisons back at the lab and get back to you. Our second clue. Footprints. Was it reported in the press? Sure was. Every detail a copycat would want was there in the story. And our third clue. And... The missing jewelry. Looks like she was tied up. It does it first, but that would leave a mark on her other wrist too. I think her watch might have been torn off. Yeah. Similar remote. For what? The Dahlia? I don't think so. Celine Henry. That's a closed case. This is probably another sad sack who lost his temper with a broad who wouldn't put out. Are you a suspect, Rusty? Watch your mouth, Phelps. All I'm saying is we've got enough to do without reopening closed cases. Talk me through it, Mal. Severely battered, on display. Footprints would indicate that she has been stomped. The size of the footprints would seem to indicate a smallish men's shoe. What size shoe did Mendez wear? You finished? No, I'm not. At a glance, I would say strangulation was the cause of death. I'll need to do further tests for semen. All right, enough talk. Every boyfriend. If they were married, they'd be at home. Not humping out here in Lover's Lane. Now we just need to come over here to the purse. Look at the name tag. Well, we have a name. Can you run Deirdre Muller by R&I? Back in a second. Okay. After that, eventually he'll walk he back up to you and give you new information. Let's grab the husband, take him downtown, and work him over, and have this wrapped up by lunchtime. What about not making assumptions and going on the evidence? The locations. Of course, there's a giant wheat plant in my way. <coughs> you drive. I need to go over the case notes. Get here. Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Is your father home? He'll be home soon. He's been out looking for mommy. What are you doing out What's of the kitchen? Yes. Michelle Eloise Mahler. Can we come in? I suppose so. Thank you. Coming in anyways. Enough of this bullshit. 
Okay, first things first. It's gonna go in the bedroom and look at his work boots. Size eight. Work boots. Size eight. Looks like we found our killer. And we're gonna check the jewelry box. Elgin wristwatch. Probably the same one snatched from her body. In the ring box. No sign of a wedding ring. Then we gotta go interrogate Mrs. Schmoop. Is this about mommy? Daddy is trying to find her. Please tell me she's okay. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, Michelle, but your mother is dead. Yeah. <laughs> last contact. When did you last them. see your mother? Yesterday afternoon. I went to a dance at Belmont High. Mommy was supposed to pick me up, but she didn't show. So what did you do then? I was upset. Daddy came instead. Doubt. So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. What happened with your father? I don't know. I called and called and finally he answered. He came straight away then. Missing watch. Some rings. of your mother's jewelry was missing. Can you describe her things? A ring, a watch. I never paid much attention to that stuff. Truth. I know it's painful, Michelle. But this may be important. She wore a wedding ring? Mommy chose it herself. A rose gold wedding band and a matching diamond and ruby engagement ring. She wore a watch? Yes. The yellow gold Elgin watch. Daddy bought it for her birthday. We had a fight. It was kind of a makeup present. State of parents' Dad, marriage. Uh, happily married? What are you saying? Of course they are. Doubt. They weren't happy, were they, Michelle? Did your father ever hit your mother? Just the once. She said she would leave him if he ever did it again. He bought her a brooch pin to make up for it. And he always wore her golden butterfly. Thanks, Miss Muller. You've been very brave. Hey! What gives? Daddy, the police are here. Go to your room, here. Here, Michelle. I'll talk to the police. Daddy, mommy is gone. Go to your room, young lady. She's not even out of school. You can't come in here interrogating her like she's some kind of... Your wife was found murdered this morning. Found? Ooh, you seem shocked when your daughter just told but, you but she you only... didn't seem to care. I don't get it. We have some questions that we would like to ask you. Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'll do my best. Footprints at crime scene. What size shoe do you wear, Mr. Muller? Why do you ask? It's routine, sir. Simple process of elimination. Nines, I think. Why? Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Uh, size of size eight work boots. <laughs> That's funny. The work boots we found here are size eights. Why lie about it if you've got nothing to hide? Because I always get teased about the size of my feet. <laughs> you know, small feet, small... Always been true in my experience. Hello, I for you. So you were here boy. all night. You stayed in while your wife went out to pick up your daughter? Yes, that's correct. Lie. You should come clean if you're having an affair or if there's something going on. I told you I was here. Were you saying I wasn't? <sighs> Husband's alibi. So why did you take so long to answer the phone when your daughter called? Okay, I went out for a while. I was, I was driving around. It's my way of relaxing. Missing persons You phoned in a missing report. persons report this morning? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my wife didn't come home last night. She left around... 
She left around 9.30. Uh, Michelle was out of dance. She called me to let me know that Deidre didn't turn up. Now, did your wife ever go out by herself to bars, nightclubs? No. What are you, what are you suggesting? You suggesting my wife's loose? <laughs> now is not the time for you to be pushing me, mister. Your daughter said you were having an argument. We argued about who would pick up Michelle. I worked a full day. I wanted to come home, put my feet up. History of violence. Your wife was beaten and then strangled. In your case, you have no alibi and a history of violence towards your wife. That's not, that's not true, God damn it! Lie. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. You try to keep a lid on it at home, but sometimes you lost control. Your daughter and your wife were scared of you. You don't know anything about me. Butterfly brooch. I know about the golden butterfly, Hugo. And how you bought your wife off the last time you heard her. She liked to spend money, all right? Dresses, uh, jewelry, her hair. It drove me goddamn crazy. Do I look like a Rockefeller? Nobody likes a cheapskate, Hugo. Nobody Getting likes hostile you, with us partner. Very Why don't you bad just idea, go away Hugo. already? You know, I'm no murderer. Make some arrangements for your daughter, and then present yourself to Central Station for questioning. You gotta be kidding me, Phelps. Put the cuffs on him. This is an outrage. I didn't kill my wife. Your daughter is in the next room, Muller, so I'm giving you a break. Don't make me change my mind, and don't make me come looking for you. We should go back in there and- You should shut the hell up. Now we gotta go over and question the neighbor. Yes, ma'am. I heard the terrible news over the radio. And you can help us with our inquiries? Yes, sir. They had a row last night. I heard Mrs. Muller screaming. Did you see Mrs. Muller come home late last night at all? No, not at all. I did see Mr. Muller put something in the incinerator earlier this morning, though. I told you he was our guy. Now let's get this bum downtown and into a cell. Look, there he is now. Ooh, he's trying to burn the evidence. I don't Step so. away from the incinerator. Don't let him get away. Gotta tackle <laughs> And we're gonna inspect the incinerator. Look at the shoes, and they're bloody. That doesn't look good, Hugo. I can get him booked in at Central, officer. Then put him in an interview room. We'll be speaking with him later. And inform the captain. Yes, sir, detective. Yes, sir, detective. Someone you can call, miss? I, I don't... You need somewhere to stay, Michelle. You have other family, grandparents, aunts or uncles? Call Aunt Helen, but she lives in Akersfield and... Call her. We're gonna get someone down here from Juvenile Hall to talk to you in the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> you no. gotta get some uniforms down here, clean up, take care Just of... Just gotta care. call the phone. I'm out of here. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on a Belmont High School. Checking for you, Detective. Go ahead, Detective. Belmont yeah. High, 1575 West 2nd Street. North Thank you. Sorry, I couldn't hear you over my obnoxious partner. Alright. So our next location... What we want to do is drive there because we're going to get notified by the board. Buy me something nice. I'll buy you Come on! Inform Detective Phelps that the coroner has report waiting. Please board downtown when he's available. Got it, KGPL. There still might right. be some play in the boyfriend. Now you can drive. I thought we were... Location Central Morgue. I'm going up to the lakes to watch the races on Saturday. 
You Can drive you to this one. He sure can play these drums. Alright, we'll go in the morgue and get a clue we already know. Phelps, Rusty, thanks for coming. Can you blood type the shoes that we bagged and see if they're a match? Sure. It'll all be in the report, but I'm assuming you want the details now? Please. Cause of death is strangulation? Correct. Uh, take a look at the samples on the bench. It's obviously this one. What are the normal uses for that kind of rope? On boats? Mooring lines. Correct. Although Ray says that they're sometimes used as bell ropes in churches. So are we looking for a, a sailor or a minister? Well, in my experience, sailors seem to have the greater libido. Was Mrs. Muller criminally attacked? No external or internal traces of semen. Thanks, Mal. Anything else comes up, you let us know. And size A shoe prints. The shoe prints? Size eights. Very similar to the impressions from the knew Henry this. case. Now, who do we remember got caught in bloody size eights? I think we have our bird. Yep. We'll use the telephone again. Operator, give me R and I. Pay it to the team. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? Are there any messages for me? Yes, Detective. A green nineteen forty six coupe, registered to Mrs. Hugo Muller, has been found in the parking lot adjoining the Belmont High School in Plainfields. Captain Donnelly wants you to head down there immediately to take the school janitor statement. Thanks for your help. All right. Next location is the school, then. Move! You can drive. Yes, sir, Detective. Have you looked it over? Superficially. I was told to wait for you guys. Thanks. We'll take it from here. What time did you see the person park the car? Late last night, after school social, maybe 1 a.m. I've been keeping a good eye out lately. We've had problems with the child molester. And this was the same man? I don't know, sir. I mean, I'd like to say yes, but the truth is, it was pretty dark. All right. Tell me about this man you've been having trouble with. He hangs near the playground, tries to befriend the children. He was around here last night before the dance. Is he violent? Yes, sir, I would say so, yes. There's a son of a bitch now! Hey, you! Go, Phil. Okay, so we gotta chase down Schmidt, I mean, the molester. Catch him. Is this really as fast as my guy can run? So we tag 
recycled ham. You, you're under butter. arrest, Eli. Ouch. You are in very deep trouble. Okay. What? Enough talking, holy shit. Look at the rope. Blood and skin samples. We better get Ray Pinker out here. Look at the bloody tire iron. It's from a Chrysler. Could be important. And look at the bloody overalls. The overalls are stenciled HM. Muller is a mechanic. I wonder what Eli does for a living. Now we gotta use the phone. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need interrogation set up at Central for both suspects being held in the Mahler homicide case. Certainly, Detective. I'll get in touch with the Watch Commander. Thanks, ma'am. <sighs> You're behind the wheel. Fine. Where are we headed? The police station. Now get in. Better we got two interrogations to do. We'll work the evidence, Rusty. Let him do the rest. Interview Hugo Muller first. Your next door neighbor heard screaming coming from your house. You were burning your blood-stained shoes. You have no one who can confirm your whereabouts last night. Your daughter says you're a violent man. We have everything we need to send you to death row. And all you have to say for yourself is, I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill her. Give me that lie test. I can prove it. Disposal of evidence. Why did you burn your shoes, Hugo? Because I knew you'd never believe me. Truth. Believe what? It's rabbit's blood. A guy at work brought him in and I helped him skin them. Access to braided rope. you know anything rope. about ropes, Hugo? As much as the next man. I, I was a scout. I learned some more in the army. Doubt. You learned to strangle with the rope in the army? With rope? with uh, my bare hands, but mainly with wire. I learned a lot of things in the army, but I, I still didn't kill my wife. For argument's sake, what type of rope would you use? If I had to, I would use a triple braid. Less flex, easier to control. Access to tire iron. With a tire iron, Hugo. An appropriate choice of tool for a mechanic. I know nothing about any tire iron. Lie. You're lying, Hugo. You're gonna have to come clean on this. You got no proof. Bloody tire iron. Your wife drove a Chevrolet, Hugo. What make of car do you drive? A Chrysler Airflow. So I guess that explains why the tire iron that killed your wife came from a Chrysler. A victim's vehicle recovered. Car. Someone parked it at the school late last night. Do you have anything to say about that? It wasn't me. Where do you keep your work clothes? I keep them at work in my locker. Lie. Enough lies, Hugo. Your overalls put you at the scene of the crime last night. My overalls are in the laundry of my house. And overalls. Green overalls, bloodstained, with the initials HM found in the trunk of your wife's car. They can't be mine. Why, Hugo? Because if they were yours, they'd be in the incinerator, too? Do not convict them.
Now we gotta go interrogate the other guy. Captain, uh, we were on our way to interview Eli Rooney. Yes, Phelps, I know. This particular fiend is an old acquaintance. I have tried to reaffirm his belief in the wrathful and terrible God. Whichever way it goes, I'll be dealing personally with him. You look like you've had it rough. You see me asking for your sympathy, boy? Footprints at crime scene. You like? Kind of like anything I get my hands on. I'm wearing 11s. Doubt. You're maybe 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, tops. And you wear size 11s? I don't think so, Eli. That might be on the large side. Maybe 10s. Maybe 8s. Now that I come to think of it. Why punish children with your iniquity, Eli? You think I was never punished? You must know what you're doing is evil. Well, son. Nobody's perfect. Place of employment. Down on your luck, Eli. I had worse. My family ate roadkill during the Dust Bowl. But you have a job. A parolee has to have a job, correct? I had me a job down in San Pedro. I'm looking for something new. Doubt. This place you worked have a name? Hennessy Marine. You can't misplace big yellow letters HM out front. They give you any work wear, Eli? Sure. Green coverall. Dang thing was hot, fella like I was back in the pen wearing it. Access the braided room. Any of your victims, Eli. It's not a nice thing to go calling them. What would you call them? I can't say. I learned a long time ago not to go talking about the things I like. Talking about it just seems to get people's dander up. Answer the goddamn question, Rooney, before I brain you. See what I mean? Short answer is yes. You have any preference regarding rope, Eli? I know a good rope from a bad rope, if that's what you mean. That's not what you mean, is it? Any old rope will do me fine. Truth. Farm boy like you, Eli, must prefer McGay for roping, am I right? I prefer braid until I hit your braid. It stays tight. Motive for Muller murder. killed Mrs. Muller and stole her jewelry. That ain't so. I ain't done nothing like that. Doubt. You have no job and nowhere to live by the smell of things. And you need money. You've been in trouble before, Eli. Who do you think a jury will believe? I've been in trouble for other things, but I ain't never killed no one. I saw that car coming to the parking lot late last night. Man got changed there and put his coveralls in the trunk. I saw him drop the butterfly in the lamplight and he strolled out, cool as you like. And I went over and I picked it up. He's the one charged, so charged with suspect. you with the first degree murder of Deirdre Muller. You want to put me back in the stir that badly, boy? You go ahead and try. I'll beat that rap. I ain't a killer. I'm disappointed in you. Ah, uh, Phelps. And five stars.